is verse 15 of the 16th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus has taken the disciples up to the region of Caesarea Philippi, which is right on the edge of the territory of Israel, heavily influenced by Gentile culture. And uh, there he's solicited from them opinions, common opinions about his identity, but now he's going to uh, zero in more directly on what they think. And of course, this becomes a critical moment in the Gospel of Matthew. And in some ways, you might imagine Matthew is pointing his finger at each of us and asking the same question. So we have it uh, in the following construction. So we have lege from lego, I say, third person singular, present active indicative, he says. Uh, autois, indirect object, dative, masculine, plural, he says to them. And then who mace here up front to give it uh, additional emphasis, uh, you, but you. Uh, and uh, so with that emphasis, post-positive, uh, but you, atena, uh, this is the uh, interrogative pronoun in the accusative singular masculine. It's the object of legata, so uh, you say who. Uh, who do you say is the way we typically bring it over, but it is then the uh, accusative here. So, who do you say? The meh is also in the accusative, but in this case it's going along with uh, the infinitive, ani. To be, this is the uh, infinitive of ami, I am. Infinitives uh, in uh, various constructions will use the accusative to function something like the subject, and that's what's going on here. So, who do you say that I am? Or who do you say me to be, you might say, in a little bit more awkward uh, English construction, but uh, either way we get the idea. So now the question is coming to them with uh, much more precision. Uh, what are your thoughts about the identity of this one with whom you've now spent uh, this considerable time 